Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing some more Pokemon here. Um, we got our final team ready. I'm basically just going to be wiping the Elite Four with Starmie. But here's the rest of our team. Garchomp, Noivern, Malamar, Shandalo, and Agron. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do it. I put items on all of them. I put proper moves on all of them. But the only thing that's not correct is... They're not super leveled, but once again, I'm just going to use Starmie anyway. I don't really need the rest of them. Really, what I need the rest of them to do is be available if Starmie somehow dies. That's what I'll need them available. Okay. One at a time, I guess, right? I don't really know how these guys work. You're the illustrious David, are you? Welcome at last to the Pokemon League. I'm one of the Elite Four. People know me as the Fire-type user, Malva. Here in the Pokemon League, you'll encounter the four of us, the Elite Four, and our champion. If you meet the champion and challenge her here, you must first defeat the four of us. Do your best, because if you can't impress us with your real strength, you'll never get to battle her. But it should be a walk in the park for you, right? The hero who destroyed Big Bad Team Flare? Hi. So, what do I do? Is there four separate rooms that I have to be? Okay, so there are four separate rooms. So, let's just take bottom left first. Why not? Dragon Mark Chamber. So, I, I'm guessing I know what type this is. Dragon type. Ooh, a little, little spook. In. When they're done, hey, guys, guys, put the wings back. Put the wings back. Someone else is coming. All right, can I bite you? Is that an old lady? Yo, that's nuts. Usually the dragon type trainers are like, you know, big burly men. In this case, it's a woman. Nice. Oh goodness. Hello to you. Welcome, welcome. Come in. You must be a strong trainer. Yes, quite strong indeed. That's just wonderful news. Facing opponents like you and your team will make my Pokemon grow like weeds. Alright, that's cool. Drasna. You're challenged by Leaf or Drasna. Dragal. Dragal? Ow, man, I need one of those. I hope I have one of those. Okay, it's a water dragon type, right? Well, I guess I was gonna use Thunder, but whatever. I'll just use Dragon. Every single one of these is Dragon. I'd rather just use Dazzling. What? Is it not a Dragon type? Why did Dazzling Gleam not work? Fine. You get Thunderbolted. Now. What? What in the world is that Pokemon? I don't know what type it is. Alright, well, whatever. Let's just a psychic call. Maybe I should have used Dazzling Gleam again. I don't know what this Pokemon is. It's a bad start right away. What am I doing? Oh, okay, of course, Psychic is super effective. Hey. Okay, what? You know, I'm gonna literally check what Pokemon it is. I'm now more than 41. Altaria. Okay. Oh, it's a Poison Dragon! Not a Water Dragon. I'm a little dummy head. That's what I'm gonna do with a little zap. No, we're gonna really put me to sleep. Why? Okay, well, he's got a. Wow, this episode's dramatic. I don't remember what the type of are, I start choking. My oh my. Sorry, please come back. Oh, like. Please wake up. You're getting blasted by dragon beams. It would be wonderful if you did wake up. There we go, Dazzling. Dazzling. Okay, so it wasn't super effective against Dral Gel G because it was poison, so that makes a lot more sense. I was wondering why in the world it wasn't being effective. I'm like, this is a dragon type, and I'm using a, a fairy move. What in the world is going on? So that makes a lot more sense. All right, well, lesson learned. These guys should all be easy though, because they are all dragon types. And I don't think I don't think flying Yeah, we're good. 
Okay, we got some level ups. Ready gone. All right. Big old dragon. Which I actually don't really like. Its design is very uh, childlike. Almost. Like if if me as a child drew a dragon, it would probably look similar to that. Which maybe I guess is the point, right? Maybe. Oh dear me, that sure was a quick battle. I do hope you'll come back again. Probably, dude. Oh, you, you're too much. You and your Pokemon are simply charming. Oh, thank you. That's a good, nice grandma. Thanks, grandma. Um, let's go ahead and use the little, little soup. Do have max potion? Why not? I'm too lazy to find the hyper potion, so we're just gonna waste the max potion here. Make it a little easier. Oh, you're going already? Farewell then. Oh dear me, was I the first to lose to you all? If I've made you feel too confident, that won't be very fair to the others, but I suppose you'd best hurry along to the, to the elevator over there to face them for yourself. Was I, like, supposed to do something else? Okay, I don't know. She's like, you leaving already? Like, it yeah, dude, I beat you in battle. Do you want, do you want to have a tea party? Like, what's what do you mean? Why are you leaving so soon? You're, you're confusing me. What else am I supposed? Is there like some like Pokemon League etiquette that I just like didn't know about? Like, am I supposed to like bow down or dance to you? I don't know, Grandma. You're real nice, but sure and confusing. Ooh, what is this? Is this? I don't know what type this is. Is this steel? Oh, is it steel? That's it. Oh, it is steel. Okay, I'm like, swords, of course, and metal armor. Well met, young challenger. Verily, I am the Elite Four famed Blade of Hardened Steel, Wickstrom. With my magnificent Pokemon at my side, I will reveal the scope of a trainer achievement. Let us both give our word that our contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? On guard. Okay. So we got... But just do it, Pokemon. Let's do it. You're challenged by a witch storm. Cliffy. Our so Cliffy is Steel Fairy. I think I can just Thunder it, right? I always forget Thunderbolt is good. Spikes. Oh, that's a little annoying. Good thing we're not switching out Pokemon, so that's fine. Yeah. Okay, it's not super effective, but it will kill, so I guess that's the important part, right? Well, that was a crit, so... Scizor... Okay, we could probably use... Um, let's use Dazzling Green. I don't think it'll be effective. Yeah, it won't be effective. Ooh! Oh, what's with all these crits, bro? Broken? Hit it with a surf real quick. Chandelure to 47. Robo pass. The rock steel. So water would actually surf would be good. Yeah, that's gonna work. Ooh, but it's not sturdy. I hate sturdy so much. Ooh, that's gonna be a that. Not too much, though. Uh, I'm gonna have to do it with a little bit of a Oh, wait, but I can kill it now. It's no longer got the sturdy. Else. Wait, oh. Uh, another mistake I made. So, sturdy. The sturdy work with your full HP. For some reason, I assumed it was. The first turn of battle. Apparently, if you, if you go from full to zero, that's when it happens. Which makes sense, I guess. I guess they just didn't want Pokemon to die instantly. But again, that doesn't make sense because if you, if you use it and you use the full restore, you're going to do the same thing the next time. Like you, by using that, by using sturdy, you don't live any longer. You're just giving yourself time to die, more time to die. Um, what is this? It's a ghost. I forgot what's good against ghosts. I forgot if it was psychic or fairy. It's definitely psychic. Alright. 
Chance stance change. Stance change. Blade form. Ow. That killed me. Alright. Well, maybe we can finish off this battle with another Pokemon. Who we got? We don't got anyone nearly strong enough. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch into Garchomp. Very, very cool Pokemon. Ooh, it spikes. Let's go ahead and a max revive going on starting. There we go. Iron head. That's probably just gonna kill. Oh, it didn't kill. Look at that. Dark chunk. Absolute monster staying alive. Long enough to get Sarmi back into the game. Very cool. Iron head. That's not gonna do too much actually. Iron slash. Enough of your shenanigans, I would have just psyched you earlier and everything would have been fixed. I just had to be a little butthurt. Uh, actually, that's not psyched to be either. Oh god, I'm terribly terrible at psyching, so don't, don't look at me. Just stop. Please. Glorious, the truth that you share with your honorable Pokemon surpasses even mine. How does that work? What now? What sweet glorious pain and joy now my rock mighty heart. My will, which even shakes spears, trembles, as so fine a battle as this, I am undone. Good sir, you are indeed our equal and worthy to enter this lofty hall. So you have struck down two of the Elite Four. The road is still long. Do not waver now. I wasn't going to, but I'll see you later. Thanks for the battle, dude. Appreciate you. Not really. Alright, who we got next? We either got a water type or a fire type. I think those are the last two. Is this going to be the water type? Because it looks like a blue room. Funny enough, we hope oh, this is the fire type. Zoop. Wow, no fancy decorations on this one, huh? Okay, a little fancy decoration. Since so I'm like, oh, it's a little, little circle, huh? God, it's probably hot in here. Welcome, challenger, to my blazing chamber. I am Malva. I shall be your opponent today. Alright. Let's do it. You are challenger, Malva. I don't like your glasses. Why do you got pink hair? You just got red hair. You're a fire type. What's wrong with you? I feel like a fairy type trainer would have pink hair. She should really have, like... Okay, just whatever. Let me just destroy her both. I don't know why. Critiquing her design. Whatever. She's gonna be able to open the road here. I just gotta get her both done. Alright, Starmie to level 100. Look at that. Alright, Starmie's max. Cool, cool, cool. Malamar to 43. Um, no. Malamar, you do not need Slash. You're fine. Chandelure? Hey, I have one of those. Pretty cool Pokemon actually. Then Surf. If out of all of the ship types, this is probably the easiest. Just because I have an answer to every single Pokemon, basically. There is no Pokemon in her entire roster that isn't weak to water. So it's super easy. But like in the steel one, well, I didn't particularly have anything decent against steel anyway. And then with the dragon one. There was a poison dragon, which was kind of bad. So, and then even in the water type train that's coming up, a couple of them are not going to be effective to the, um, the lightning. So it's it's definitely out of all the battles, this one's the easiest for my type. Yeah, we basically do this one very easily. What news? So a new challenger has defeated Malva of the Elite Four. Fantastic, utterly fantastic. I'll report to all the world the news of you and your Pokemon dominating the league. I am a Holocaster star after all. I'm such a busy woman. If you beat the last of the Elite Four, you'll face the champion. Alright. Later. Um, skater? Alright, let's go ahead and um, let me uh, max potion on Garchomp here. Good on Garchomp for just taking a little hit. Oh, but shouldn't he use the max potion there? But it's alright. Not like I'm gonna need to use it any other time. Unless
unless I want to go do some challenges or something. Alright, last one. Water type. Blood chamber. Oh, I, there's literally a name for all of them. I, I walked into the fire type and said, oh, is this water? It's literally probably going to go with probably the blaze chamber or something stupid. Just like very David of me. Alright, give me a cool little arena. game lagged horde. Um, I like this arena. Oh, we've met you before, haven't we? Maybe? No, I simply can't say. You there, young man, I have a question I must pose to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can ever be worthy of being called an art? Indeed. You see, cooking is a type of art that disappears as soon as completed. Pokemon battles are the same, even memories of sweet victory soon fade after the battle ends. To devote yourself entirely to such a life made up of fleeting experiences that is truly artful. Alright. Seal Seabold. Maybe we haven't met him. I, for some reason, I assume this costume looks like something of a guy that we've met before, but I don't think that is I, I don't think that's the case. Now he's got a bolster, which is just a pure water type. So I hit it with a quick little thunderbolt. Should be good. Yeah. Again, I think the only Pokemon that'll cause you trouble is really Barbacool. Because he's a rock water. Which is the next one. So what would I hit Barbacool with? Because I can't hit him with a lightning. I think if we just hit him with a psychic and make it neutral and keep the day to be honest. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, that was the only Pokemon I was even like remotely worried about. Um, so we got Starmie and Gyarados next. Also, I just noticed, and this is again, I guess the new showing. Why is Gyarados a flying type? He's a water flying? Wasn't he dragon before? Like, am I nuts? Was he not a dragon before? I don't know. Maybe I'll have to check the records. The... I'm gonna make the Star Wars jump. The records are incomplete, I don't know. Alright, Starmie versus Starmie, except you can see this one's a little cooler. I got the cooler Starmie. Zap. Alright, sorry Starmie. Thank you, Starmie. I shall store my memory of you and your Pokemon forever within my heart. Yeah, sure you will, bud. You've got a lot of battles. Devote yourself entirely, so even that which will fade and disappear is ingrained forever upon your heart and mind. That is the only fate for any human. You have drawn forth the strength of Pokemon with your own particular style and method. And now you can handle the champion. Very cool. Um, bag. Is Starmie? Starmie's going catch. He didn't even get hit. Okay. Alright, time to move on to the next one. Who is the champion? I know who the champion is. I've seen it, but... Radiant Chamber. Welcome at last, dear trainer. As you must know, I am the champion, Diantha. Oh, but you are? You're the child I spoke to in Limoe City and Pomerine City, aren't you? Then that means that you're also the one that dear Augustine said. Of course, how could I? Oh, I must look like such a fool not to recognize you sooner. You and your Pokemon are the ones who stopped Team Claire for us all. It seems wrong of me to say this, but thank you. You saved us all. I can't wait to see what you and your Pokemon are capable of now that I know exactly what it is you've done already. Let's do it. Pokemon League Champion. Got a nice little bag on you. Alright, Alucha. A, a fighting, flying, fighting. 
that means I can hit it with... Probably a Thunderbolt would be our best option. That is a rock ice. Um, I don't think we have anything effective against rock ice. Okay, for some reason I assume the ice would cancel out the super effectiveness of the rock on the water. I need to learn that. Gorgies, Geist, Ghost Grass. Like, I'm actually pretty good at Pokemon Go PvP surprisingly good but that's just because I just know all the meta Pokemon and then I just I know the meta Pokemon that's all I need but I swear if I had a Pokemon go battle and someone used a non-meta Pokemon I probably wouldn't know what's going on ghost okay let's just wait no I shouldn't have used that for the time because that's going to be horribly not effective horribly all right actually okay I think I'm just going to stop talking I think that'll work. Just, just stop talking. Okay, David, just do your battles. Stop talking. Alright, rock, try again. I'm gonna hit it with a dazzling gleam. Yo, very, very cool T Rex looking Pokemon. And Gudra, switch Pokemon. Gudra is a pure dragon type. Another dazzling gleam here. Yeah. Oh, didn't die. I keep forgetting that Gudra has like a decent amount of HP actually. Alright, let's do let's have some fun. So I'm gonna hit it with a Thunderbolt. I keep forgetting that the full restore is like keep forgetting that that is an option that they can do. Oh, that's alright, well that didn't do anything. Alright, very fun. Cool. Um I think name again, let's go. Kill it. Uh, 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 uh. Why do I get cocky? Yeah, I'll just use the move. You just stick with the decent moves. I did it again. I literally. Except the surf should be fine. It should be useful. So. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Now I can use the last dazzling gleam on it. It'll be good. There we go. Alright, David. I made it. Good job. Lord of War, keep battling. Very cool. This is like the first staple Pokemon. I'm gonna use it to surf. But first, she's gonna mega ball. Very cool. Little ball down. I don't think it'll. It's not gonna die. Ooh, that's gonna hurt a lot. Can you use a full restore? Ah, uh, yeah, you are. But I'm not letting up on the surfs here, so that's fine. Surf. Unless you want to use another full restore, I'm gonna surf you again. Another full restore, alright. Hopefully, she doesn't have too many more, because I don't have too many people left. Or maybe I can print. Alright, one more. Alright, nope. She ran out of full restore. Defeated champion Diantha. Witnessing the noble spirits of you and your Pokemon battles really touched my heart. Say. I'm so choked up that it's hard to know what I should say, but I'm just glad at this moment that I was good enough to be the champion. After all, it gave me the chance to meet and battle with you and your wonderful Pokemon. Now I understand why dear Augustine, Professor Sycamore, said he needed to get the Moe Seti ready for the new champion. But before I take you there, my dear David, would you mind coming this way with me? No, I'm good. I was just going to... Is someone with her name into the Hall of Fame, right? Is that, is that still happening? Is it, do they still have a Hall of Fame? Yes, they do. Okay, cool. Alright, we saved the game.
here we are. I'm so glad to welcome you in. This grand chamber is where you enter the Kalos Region's Hall of Fame. This is where Pokemon trainers will live on forever. Remembered always for giving their all in battle to the Pokemon League and for the glory and light that they shared with all. Alright, honestly, I would love to just stick Starmie in there and call it a day, but we do have <laughs> we do have the rest of our team. Come, David. Your love for your Pokemon and the way that those Pokemon gave everything they had to battle for you. We'll record them all right here for eternity. Although, it's just Starmie. You know what? Garchomp came in clutch for a little while. So, you know what? Take it back. Garchomp was a homie. Hall of Fame. Alright, number one, we got little Starmie, level 100. Garchomp, level 53. Little Noivern, 54. Malamar, 45. And Shandor, 49. And the Viva Agron, 55. Congratulations on becoming Pokemon League Champion. Very cool. A few days later, crowds of people gathered in Lemoy City to celebrate the five defenders of the Kalos region and cheer for the new champion. Yo, wait, why are these guys defenders of the Kalos region? I did all the work. I mean, Serena helped, actually. Serena helped. What was with these other guys? Did they help? Or am I forgetting the story? I think they might have helped. I think they, like, chased them down or something. I don't know. But it's just me and Serena, basically, to be honest. What an amazing turnout. All of these people are here to celebrate your achievements. I'd like to present you with the honor of Kalos for the bravery you showed battling. I'm so proud of you all. On behalf of the entire Kalos region, I'd like to say... Thank you. You're welcome. I think the other... Some of them look very pixelated, though. Oh, it's Tall Man. Oh, he just, like, randomly shows up. Battle with me? What? We just battle him right, right here, right now? I want to know what a trainer is. Do we actually fight him? Okay. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer AZ. Okay, I don't even know what his Pokemon are. Alright. Torkoal. You're telling me this is like Mr. Thousand Years Old? He has a Torkoal? Dang level 60? You've been around for 3,000 years and you're telling me what you've been doing is training this Torkoal to level 60. Alright, what you got? Golur? Torkoal, Golur, and the one. His last one's gonna be probably his Floet, right? Uh, let's just hit it with a Surf here. What have you got? Your Floet, right? Sit here in the world is your. Oh. That Pokemon left that I forgot. Alright, sit it with the Thunderbolt. I think this is a. Uh... What is it? It's flying something. Thank you very much for battling with me. Now I finally feel free. Free from the part of me mired in sorrow, the part of me that built the ultimate weapon. Is that a shiny, or is that just like a special poet just for him? 
I think it's just a special one. I've never, I don't think we can catch one of those. It's been 3,000 years, but I... This is supposed to be a touching moment, guys. Feel touched right now. This Pokemon was waiting all this time. Waiting for him to return to the man he was. The man who loved Pokemon with all his heart. You need some water. <laughs> Jeez, man. Hey, Juyuchi Masuda and Ken Sugimori. I appreciate it, big dogs. Very cool. I would actually say thank you, but Nintendo's kind of a poop company, so I'm not going to, but thank you for the game. It's a pretty cool game. I, I do like it. Definitely enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, Alright, like I usually do at the end of games, give it a slight, very quick review. I thought it was a really good game. For someone who's, you know, just a fan of the older games and haven't played many of the new ones, I did like it, although I seen new, this was made like a decade ago. Um, I do like this one quite a bit, actually. I think um, I really like the spread of Pokemon. I like the routes. I everything was great. Um, the music's good. Um, the game's a little easier than it probably should be, um, and I'm a little disappointed with the victory road. It, the game was very, very good. Nothing to really complain about. Let's go ahead and go back in, real quick. If I go back in, okay, Pokebacks of 375, meaning we still have a little over. We should have like 150 to 170 still Pokemon to get, actually. David, I saw the parade on TV. Professor Sycamore went all out trying to get everyone to show up for you two, you know. That reminds me, I received a message from Professor Sycamore. He wants to meet you at Lake Way Station. Do you know where that is? If you don't, it's just a quick cab ride. I wonder why he wants to meet you, though. He should have just talked to you at the parade. Alright, well, here's what we're gonna do. Big D, the parade was so great. Um, I have something I want to ask you. Do you mind? I want to trade Pokemon with you, Big D. They'll be like friendship bracelets for Pokemon. I'll give you this Fennekin. I found it. You can give me any Pokemon you want. Sure. Fennekin. Or... <laughs> should, I, should I meme it? You know what? You can have Shiny Clauncher. That's what you get. You get... You get a shiny plunger. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Later. <laughs> I have too many shiny plungers. Go ahead, take one. That's fine. For me, you. Hey yo. Pinnikins. <laughs> so we just need chestpin now, right? Take good care of Pinnikins. Your Pokemon is really special for me, Big D. Of course, each and every Pokemon is special too. Oh, okay. Alright. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode off. Ooh, a little too fast here. We're not anywhere really near done. We have all the post game to do, which I don't think is too much, but we had a lot of post game, and then of course we have to finish the Pokedex. That's 
The only reason I'm basically playing this game is we have to finish the Dexes. And again, we have 375. So we got the large majority of Pokemon, but not all of them. Let's go to the Postal, let's just quickly go through them. So you can see that I have most Pokemon, but we're just missing basically a couple evolutions here and there. And a couple of Pokemon we, we need to trade for. But we do have a large majority, which is very cool. Okay, enough talking, guys. I'm gonna go. I gotta go do dinner. Life of an adult, huh? But we will be back very soon, because next episode we're gonna start post-game and then the grind. So, see you guys then.